All right, welcome back to the statistics for data science class. So as we all are aware of um, data science having its foundation um, stemming from the statistics, so we cannot proceed without getting ourselves familiar with the various statistical concepts that we actually going to need as we progress in our uh, machine learning and uh, our deep learning and other 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 concepts that we will be learning in our data science class. Okay, so um, I've actually outlined some of the crit um, some of the critical concepts that you're going to need as we progress, right? So we will not I mean bother ourselves with some of the concepts that we will not actually need. Some some other concepts that are not actually applicable when it comes to data science or machine learning or some. Um, deep learning, right? So we will not bother ourselves with that, but I've actually come up with those concepts that you're really going to need as we progress in our data science um, journey, right? And um, I've, I'll, I'll try to break it down for you to really understand these concepts, right? I'll try to bring it very to the to the very basic level, to the very down, so that you can actually get to understand it, okay? So as we progress, so we will actually see how these concepts are going to be applicable in the various um, machine learning or in the various data science in general class, right? So um, let me, before before I start um, going through step by step, let me first um, give you a brief overview of the various concepts that we're going to consider in our class. I'm not, not I mean, not forgetting the fact that this is quite comprehensive, right? Because I've actually come up with the various concepts that you are actually going to need, but I'm going to break it down for you to really understand, right? All those concepts, statistical concepts that you're really going to need, right? So I'm going to break it down for you to really understand. So we will talk about the various concepts such as classification, association, or pattern recognition, predictive modeling, right? And then we consider the various data types and uh, we will dive deep into these various data types since everything that we're going to do is going to circulate around the data. We will dive into the various data types, okay? We will go deep into that and um, we will also talk about the various um, data sources, right? We talk about the various data sources and we also talk about um, the statistics. I mean, the various types that we're going to consider over here. In this case, we're going to um, consider um, descriptive and then inferential statistics. We're going to divide our statistics into this kind of um, category, right? Then we talk about them, right? Then some concepts that we really need, we're going to talk about frequency distribution, right? We talk about all that and then we break it down for you to really get to understand it with some examples, right? Some practical examples. We talk about central tendency. We talk about um, all those concepts in central tendency, right? Such as such as um, the mean, right? The mean, the median, the mode, right? So we will consider all of them one by one, break it down with some examples for you to really um, get to understand, right? Then we also consider what is called the measure of dispersion, right? So we will break it down on some of the concepts that are in this, such as the standard deviation, the range, the interquartile range, the num the five number summary, the coefficients of variation, the empirical rule, um, services rule, some, some of the concepts that are not even listed here, but we still I'm going to consider them, right? Some, some, some of them which are really important for you to uh, master as, as we progress, right? So we dive deep into all this with some examples, right? For you to really get to understand. Then we also consider the box plots, which is one of the things that we're going to really um, need over and over again in our machine learning class and even in the deep learning class as we progress. Okay, so um, these are some of the some of the things that you also. I'm going to enc encounter as we progress, right? So uh, we talk about skewness, we talk about the quartiles, right? Um, with some practical examples, right? The empirical rule, the, we consider correlation, right? Which is one of the key um, things that we're going to um, dive deep into that, okay? There are some other concepts that you are actually going to um, get introduced to, right? Some differentiation so in there, right? Some types of correlation, um, PSN correlation, right? So we're going to consider a lot of stuff. I mean, using Python and also some practical uh, hands hands on um, manual workings, right? So we're going to consider all these. We're going to consider all this. Then we come to probability and uh, conditional probability, right? So we consider a lot of concepts under. Um, probability, right? There are some examples, right? Some practical examples for you to really get to understand um, this, right? So there are a lot of a lot of things, right? Base theorem, which is um, the basis of the naive Bayes algorithm, right? As we progress to the machine learning class, you get to understand this. Right? So there are some some um, concepts that you really need before we proceed to that class. So that's why we bring in all these concepts here. Normal distribution, which is quite important concept to actually know, right? The empirical rule. 
right, skewness in, our, in your data, right? So if you're doing exploratory data analysis, you're going to need all these, right? So that's why we're introducing you to. So these are key statistical concepts that you really need, and that's why I've actually brought them up, right? Central limit theorem is one of the concepts that you're really going to need. Uh, we also consider with some examples, right? Hypothesis testing, of course, we cannot do without that, right? So we're also going to consider that. And then um, some practical examples of it, right? We're going to consider that and some um, some really, really key notes that you need to take away, right? Just type 1 and type 2 errors. I'm sure you've been hearing this and what is really that. You, we will dive into that and then see how these concepts are going to um, come up, right, as, as we progress. So there are quite a lot of... A lot of um, things that we're going to consider, right? So the p-value here, right? So the p-value, the confidence level, right? And then um, after that, there are some additional stuff that you can also um, take advantage of, right? So they are, they are the key statistical concepts that you really need, right? So um, we will not dive into some of the concepts that you're not even going to see it in your, in your, in your class in machine learning or in deep learning or any other concept. Right? We will not bother ourselves with that. But those concepts that you're really going to need, you're going to introduce you to them. And as we progress in the course, right, any, any um, statistical concept that will come up, we will take time and then explain that as well. Okay? So um, let's get started, um, take them one by one and get to understand the reason behind that. Okay?